are in luck because Jess Harris is here to give us her tips on how to stay fit and healthy. With summer just around the corner, it's this time of year that we start looking to get into shape. Now, there are a lot of contributing factors to looking and feeling good, so let's take a look at how you can play it cool when it comes to health and fitness. Whether you're an obsessed fitness fanatic... What are you doing? It's 4am. I had a nightmare. I dreamt I ate a whole loaf of bread. Looking to make better lifestyle choices... Now, Jess, fitness is not just about looking good. Do you smoke? Uh, yes. Do you drink? Yes, but I have just quit chroming, so that's a start. <laughs> or you enjoy some healthy competition to help you stay in shape. You know what, Kim Beverly? I can't use you if you're there. Get in front. Get in front. Not everyone knows how to play it cool when it comes to your health and fitness. When attempting to get fit and healthy, having a reward can help to push yourself. What are you doing? Oh, I'm just having a little treat, you know, for joining the gym. First you set yourself a goal, and then when you reach the goal, you get a treat. So come on up. Let's start with the realistic goal of, say, 15. Done. One. Yeah, come on. <laughs> Two. Three. Treat time. I think three is a little bit more realistic, don't you think? A bit of healthy competition is always cool when it comes to staying in shape. Sorry, Gail. None of these girls meant that. I just feel like I am the only one out there that wants to win this. Just remember, team sports are supposed to be fun. We're just here for a bit of fun and fitness. Winning's just a bonus. You're right. You're right. Should be fun. Stop! 15 blue, get off my court. Have your fun on the sideline. When it comes to staying in shape, discipline is a must in order to maintain a healthy figure. Why have you got that on? Because I have been a pig today. I need to be treated like one. I'm humiliated enough, I won't do it again. What have you had that warrants this? One of these bloody Werther's Originals. The packet that you left in my car. You've got to be more careful. You don't want a pig for a wife, do you? No, I guess not. So you agree? I'm a pig. Well, I'm not saying that. Well, I, I, I think you've said enough. I'm going to the pig pen. It's where I belong. However, taking things to the extreme and punishing yourself is all very unhealthy. And finally, staying fit is all about self-motivation. It's up to you to get yourself fired up and in the zone. <laughs> However, don't delve too far into your inner beast. Don't touch the ball with your hands. Yeah, what's up, out again. Yeah. She's screaming it's a full moon, then she oh. bits hit you on the leg. All right, well, you know the drill. Take her down. So, when it comes to health and fitness, avoid over-rewarding... <laughs> what? Been in the gym all day. The sauna doesn't count, Jess. Mm. Getting overly obsessed with how you look. I'm going to get myself another spray tan. It'll make me look thinner. And always strive to be the best and fairest. <laughs> She'll be right. Just chuck her in an ice bath. <laughs> now, which of those, out of out of those three, what would you, what would you class yourself oh, as being as your fitness type? Toxic combination of the pig woman and the team sports player. <laughs> pig woman. <Yeah. laughs> My dad actually had to take me out of netball and put me into basketball because I was too aggressive. I was fouling. I, I actually played mixed netball. Did you? I did, and we got we got taken back onto the court. Don't laugh, Christy. <laughs> and I was we were taken back onto the court after the game for being too aggressive and told <laughs> off. Absolutely.